Today we're working with columns. What information is provided within the columns within Interaction Desktop? Today I'll show you how to add columns so that you can increase the information on what you see on your screen. You'll also learn how to delete a column. Who needs clutter on your desktop, let alone on your Interaction Desktop? We'll also show how to change the order of columns if you use one column more than the other and you want to pull it to the left side or the right side, you can do so by dragging and dropping. Again, making it easier for you to find the information you need. I'll also do a quick overview, overview for you as well. It's very easy to be able to add columns. We can go up to the top under My Interactions, the tabs at the top, from here, you can see the queue, the name, the number, the duration. I could add a new column by right-clicking and adding a check mark next to any of the ones listed. If I want to see an account code, I can choose account code. I can then stretch it out so that I'm able to see the entire account code. Again, if I want to add another one, all I do is add another check mark. And it automatically appears on my screen. I can easily delete any columns that I have at the top of my screen as well. If I realize I want to declutter my screen, I no longer utilize the security column, all I have to do is a right click again and uncheck the word security and it automatically deletes it. So very easy to be able to add or delete adding new columns to maximize or minimize what you have on your screen at all times. At the bottom half of my screen under company directory, you can see that I also have columns. Some of them have search filters at the top. If I want to add more, more columns to the bottom of my screen, all I have to do again is a right click. Anywhere that you see a check mark means the columns on my screen. If I want to add more columns, such as the status notes column, I could go ahead and select it and it automatically pulls up the status notes for me. If I want to add more columns, all I have to do is right click. I have a tendency to always go to the very end to right click to get the opportunity to choose from the list. But I also want to point out you could actually click on the words themselves and right click and you still have the opportunity to be able to add more columns to your company directory. Again, anything that has a check mark, it means that I can, it, it's already been added. Anything that does not have a check mark, such as the mobile number, it allows me to add that on here. If I decide I don't like where it was placed, I want to change the order, all I have to do is click on the column itself and drag it over to wherever I want it to be. So again, just a click and drag and it automatically goes to where you want it to go. I can also change the order at the columns at the top of my screen under My Interactions. Earlier we had add, added a count code, but if this is something I use quite often, I can go ahead and drag my account code over to the left hand side. As soon as I let go, it's dropped where I can now see it more often than at the very end, depending upon my screen size. Whether you're at the top of your screen or the bottom, the left or the right, I do want to point out that you can stretch out the column width. You can make it wide, you can make it skinny, you can do so at the very bottom of your screen as well. In my queue, you can see that I have a call from Indianapolis, Indiana. Under each of the columns, there's different information that populates. It shows that I'm on a call with who, the number, the duration, the state. If I had an account code, I, it would populate here, the details and the interaction ID, which is always helpful when troubleshooting with IT. If they want to know what is your interaction ID number, this is where you would find it. So I want to show that all that information populates on my screen. Also, another great spot to be able to look at other columns is in your call history. It shows the call, the disposition, the name, the system, the number, the extension, a starting and end point of a particular call, how long the call lasted, and again, the call ID, which again is very helpful when working with IT. This has been a just-in-time short video on columns.